Hello everyone this is Mukundan Raghavan and this video we are going to cover our first assistant agent basically we are going to do the coding for the first assistant agent in previous videos we have seen what are the types of agent let's try to start from the scratch first of all we need to access the llm basically we are looking for the open source llm for that as we discussed we are creating the account in the grok grok is nothing but the fast aa interface where you can interact and make api call to the free llm sources once you have created the account you can go to the developer console and here you can play around also see what are the different llm models available from this and even you can get the code from here if you want to directly interact with grok however we are going to use the autogen framework so for that we need to primarily create the keys api keys you can click on create api key and you can give the name and you can confirm that you are human then you will have the api key once you have the api key you will go to the system variables edit the system environment variables and environment variables and you will create the key called grok_api_key once you have created you all set for this now let's go to the vs code here we are going to create the assistant agent and the user proxy agent however our main focus is assistant agent still we know that we will interact with assistant agent by using the user proxy agent so that's why we will import both assistant agent and the user proxy agent and obviously we are going to get the api key from our system so we will be using the import os first of all we will create the configuration for our a model since we are looking for the open source we have chosen the llama and the api key will be getting from the environment variable which is grok underscore api underscore key and we are going to interact with this from the autogen framework by the api type of grok now we have enough configuration and this is under the variable called config list now next one we will be creating the instance of assistant agent so when you create the assistant agent from the autogen you need to provide some basic details first one is name since it's a basic demo we will be giving as a grok assistant and the second one is system message and you are telling how it should behave again since it's a small demo we will mention as a you are a helpful ai assistant then you need to give the llm basically this is the assistant agent wrapper over that you are just plugging in the llm configuration this llm configuration will make sure you have the proper llm attached to that assistant agent so that this assistant will give you proper outputs when you ask the questions so since we have created the llm configuration list already with the open source llama we will be giving the same config list now we have the assistant with the variable called assistant next one we are going to create the instance of the user proxy agent when you create the user proxy agent instance you will be giving the basic details again such as name as a user proxy and the configuration for the code execution as false so that the code execution is disabled for this user proxy again we are saving this user proxy with the variable called user proxy now we have two variables which holds the instance of assistant and the user proxy now let's start the chart now we want to give the experience of the multiple interactions so for that we will create the method and this method will be always true while true and which means that it will be giving the continuous conversation with you then user input you are getting from the u basically in the terminal you will see as a u and colon then you might type any type of questions or queries or suggestions whatever it is until unless it finds exit or quit it will continue that if at all it finds exit or quit from the terminal it will break that so consider you have given some valid query then using the user proxy agent you will initiate the chat here also you can see you can use any kind of user proxy even though we have created one user proxy and one assistant based on the different logical conditions you can use any user proxy now let's say we will use the user proxy that we created and initiate the chat now again in this chat 
you can give any kind of assistant based on your system messages based on the role that you have given for the different assistants still again it is a simple assistant that we created we will give the same assistant here now whatever might be your input which will be added into the user input through the input method will be given to the message then obviously your response will be saved into the variable and it will be shown in the output this is a very simple way of creating the assistant agent and the user proxy agent and also interacting with the assistant agent under the roof of user proxy now let's start execute and see the output in the terminal i type python dot croc autogen check dot py even consider if you are not familiar with python commands if you have the github copilot control i and you can ask how to execute any python file python and the file name so that's why we have done that same so close again type python and the file name is grog autogen check dot py enter now it is prompting with u basically we need to give the inputs i am asking what is quantum computing and also giving the restriction i don't want the very fancy and long text so quantum computing is a type of computing that uses a quantum mechanical phenomena to perform calculations yes that's fine maybe we can ask some more questions Yes, autogen is a self-generating automatic process that occurs within the system. Maybe it is not giving the correct input, so that's why we should be careful while using the open source LLM models. Here you can see autogen; it's giving the different explanation, which is not correct. In our context, we are looking for the Microsoft autogen, but it is giving a general, maybe something random other input. So you should be very clear what you are looking for, so that you can validate the output. Okay, now we have done a little of experiment here. so let's type exit the first exit will give the overall summary what you have done so far maybe again we will type exit and ending the chat so now we have done the very simple experiment where we have created the assistant agent by providing the open source llm model which is llama to avoid the code complexity we have created the config list as a separate list then we have just embedded into the assistant agent instance creation also we have created the user proxy agent instance by providing the basic details here you can note that there is no connection between assistant agent instance and the user proxy instance why because this can be totally independent only when you create the initiate the chat you can decide which user proxy you want or which assistant you want so this is the very easy way of flexibility we have in the autogen framework okay let's complete this and coming back to overall summary in grok we have created the api key and we have set up the system variable so that we can get from the os environment get the api key and we have created the assistant agent and the user proxy agent we have done the simple chat so that we ask some questions and we also noted that open source llm models output may not be so accurate we should be careful so this is what we have done in this course and this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud